squid. Right. Good side. I have to say that is on my bucket list to go squid fishing. Well, that's pretty easy. I like squidding. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're lovely to eat fresh squid. So, something a bit different today. Um, we're going out of Falmouth, Falmouth River, uh, launched out of Myla, uh, and we're going to go after the mighty bass. Apparently, there's a lot of tuna out here at the moment. If I get some on film, I will. I won't be filming much um, whilst we're out there. The request of the skipper. Can you see yeah. that? We respect that. And it will be a short film today. The problem is they're too big. Yeah. See that the sea is a lot greyer and rougher than it was uh, that night, which was a perfect night. This looks like a good place to come and try chucking a lure for a bass. Uh, it's quite accessible because there's a car park quite nearby and I reckon you can climb on down to those rocks quite easily. So yeah, I think I must give that a try. This is where we were snorkeling on Tuesday. Yeah, on, on Tuesday, it looked like the Mediterranean here. Today, it looks like the Atlantic. And here's the little town of Coverack, which again, we were standing next to um, on Tuesday. First fish of the day, just a little schoolie, and we're gonna put him back. Hopefully he's not been out the water. No, and he's away. Tuna jumping on the surface out here. Oh, there you go. Very easy to get. Get towards the rocks, but on the edge of the sea, look at the GoPro, you'll come up tiny. Yeah, but I can, on a post edit, I can um, boost it up. It's the first time I've seen one in this area. Thank you. 
just here. Is that or is that a rock? There's, there's, uh, there's no rock there. No, well, there's, there's a big swirl and splash on the surface just there. There is a kind of boil there. Yeah. I turn my yeah, I'll be, oh yeah, just come out of water then. Yeah. Saw its tail quite clearly. Yeah, yeah, he's quite there you go, right, oh, right close to us. Oh, hopefully that's on film. Oh, look at that. And that was on film. Put your camera under the water. No, it's not. It's not set up for being underwater. In fact, it's, it's getting wet. <laughs> what do you mean? Isn't it a GoPro? Yeah, it is. But it's it's got the side panel off so that you can plug it into the um, all the the gubbins on the side. I've been thinking about getting a rod, a heavy popping G uh, no rod with a popper on it with no hooks yeah just, oh, yeah, yeah. just to see if I can hook, yeah. Yeah, raise one and get a tape Seems to be a, a, a thing of a hundred feet, isn't there? She is so, same uh, our way. What? You never get the deep. No, hundred feet seems to be the line, yeah. But but look beyond. Mean, you do got get the odd one, but really, there's this lot of activity over here as well still. Oh yeah, got it. They've got uh, the cameras pointing straight at it, isn't it? And again. Of course, it's amazing to watch the tuna come in and jumping out of the water, but the reason we were here was to go fishing. So. It's been hard, hard fought, but I've got a second, second bass for today. So, happy. Only two. <laughs> Only two. <laughs> Only two. Although the target species is bass, I'm happy with that rash. Beautiful colours. Nice little schoolie on the mighty fish law. Oh yeah, there's a lot of dolphins there.
another great expedition to Cornwall comes to an end. You can see, I'm tidying up the caravan, packing the stuff away, loading bags onto into my van, and we're going to be heading back home shortly. Uh, Billy Bob's had a great time. He loves it here too. Part partially because he gets to sleep with me, uh, but partially because he gets to see lots of things and have a good time. Um, what have we done while we've been here? Well, I fished off the shore, I fished off the rocks, fished off a boat. I've been cycling, uh, I've been snorkeling, um, flew my drone, had some nice walks, did some good photography, saw lots of uh, birds that I'd never seen before. Not saying they were rare, I just never seen them before. Uh, yeah, had a fantastic time. Haven't had the best of weather, but actually, it's a relief to come to Cornwall and see all the seasons here while I've been here, really. We've had wind, we've had rain, we've had hail, we've had sunshine, we've had warm weather, we've had cold weather. But in all that weather, we've had a good time. So, we're going to be signing off now. And we're home. <laughs>